Come on, little geese. Come on. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, weekend vlog starting today. It's Friday, but we are heading out very, very early tomorrow morning, probably around 4 a.m., something like that. Loading up the Explorer, the two girls, the dogs, and heading way, way up north, northern Minnesota to Grand Marais, right on Lake Superior. It's where my wife grew up. Uh, we have to, you know, take care of some family stuff, which if you guys have been following along, you know a little bit about. Um, but because we're going to be there for several days, we're going to try to take advantage of it as well. Uh, spend some time with some family, uh, decompress a little bit, relax, try to clear our minds a bit after a long, stressful couple of years, actually. So, um, like I said, we're just going to take advantage of the time. Uh, my wife's dad says he's got some stuff to show us. He said something about a cannon. <laughs> so we're going to check that out and see what he's got going on. Uh, but again, just kind of take in the scenery. Um, just feel the, the northern Minnesota lake vibes, right? And I thought I'd bring you guys along. Uh, I know you're going to love the scenery. It's a place unlike anywhere else in, in the world, in my opinion. It's very, very unique and, and such a... a such a cool place. The GPS tells us that if you head straight through, you can make it in 19 and a half hours from Greenville, South Carolina to Grand Marais, Minnesota. Uh, we're going to, obviously you gotta stop and we have the dogs with us. Um, my goal is to make it in 24 hours, maybe 25. We'll see what happens on the way up. Uh, we don't wanna go too crazy. Uh, but I gotta run some errands today, run, hitting O'Reilly's and hitting Lowe's. I need some supplies because we got a couple of big projects coming up. Of course, one of those for the Q50 is installing the rear differential with the Traction Concepts LSD conversion kit. So really, really excited about that. And I have some other stuff coming that's going along with that. So I hope you guys will subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification if you haven't already. Uh, you don't want to miss when those videos are going to be uploaded. Uh, should be shortly after this one once we return from the trip. It's going to be a long Labor Day weekend. So I'm going to try to take advantage of that and get some stuff done in the garage. So good stuff coming up. So uh, I guess enjoy this video. We're gonna head out. I gotta get home, get some stuff packed up and uh, relax for the evening. And we gotta head out early in the morning. So let's get to it. On our way up north. Hey bud. <laughs> gotta stop at the old bus. so she's losing its sheen a bit. Finally made it into Wisconsin, about 16 hours or so into the drive. We got maybe three or four before we're up to uh, Lake Superior, the Grand Marais area. So looking forward to wrapping this trip up. Been a long time in the car with the dogs, but everybody's doing really well. The dogs are doing surprisingly well, so turned out to be a decent trip. Pretty significant temperature difference though. It's about 63, 64 degrees here right now. We left South Carolina, it was 90 something with like 75 or 80% humidity. So it's pretty wicked down south. And I think we're gonna be looking at highs in the 60s, lows in the 50s, maybe even 40s in this area. So a pretty major weather difference uh, this time of year in that geography. South Carolina, Northern Minnesota, pretty wild.
Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for stopping in. We are in northern Minnesota, very, very far north. Grand Marais, Minnesota, up in that little arrowhead point by Lake Superior, right on the harbor. Again, Grand Marais, Minnesota. Unfortunately, we're here for my mother-in-law's memorial service, um, but it is really nice to get back to kind of our, our home state, and this is obviously where my wife grew up, so, um, you know, unfortunately, we're here for kind of a, something that you hate to come home for, but while we're here because we don't get home very often we're definitely trying to soak it all in and uh, we were fortunate enough, enough to have my wife's father set up a, a nice camper for us here in this really nice area right on the lake you can see lake superior behind me it's a it's a, a massive lake i think almost 1300 feet deep in some point so it's it's crazy shipwrecks and everything happened in this lake so it is it's not your your typical uh, lake here in the united states obviously one of the great lakes uh, but it is it's huge and you really can't comprehend how big it really is until you get here and you see the curvature of the earth <laughs> behind me and uh, you know the lake goes as far as you can see it's, it's pretty impressive and standing here uh, on the cliffs you can just hear the waves crashing um, sounds like you're, you're on the ocean but it's a, a beautiful sight take a look at this Hard to beat the scenery, yeah? Yeah. Oh, you betcha. Oh, you betcha.
walking out to the lighthouse here, falling along the great wall. back up. But right here? Yeah. It's so pretty and magical back here. Look at right here. Look at this magical place. Doesn't it look like there should be like butterflies flying around you? Oh Let's my see. gosh, yeah. Oh! Unicorns in the back. Wow. I'm recording. You gotta so go. Cold. You gotta go. It's so cold, Jordan. You go. <laughs> I have so jeans cold. on. It's, cold. it's so cold. Try it. You gotta be tough. <laughs> that looks like concrete. Okay, let me just roll up my pants a little bit more. <laughs> that is not a rock. That goes all the way down. Why do you have goosebumps on your legs? What? Why do you have goosebumps on your legs? Shut up. <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> it's really cold. <laughs> your face is awesome. I mean, holy shit. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That is like, that is not, that is not <laughs> What's the temperature? It's cold. <laughs> Whatever temperature cold is. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah, it flew all the way over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you hear it? Yes, I heard it. <laughs> no, I won't be out in the winter, but next summer. Wow. Very cool. Winter? Oh, yeah. I'm hoping to get up here for Christmas. Oh, I didn't know. Built this when you're 16 years old. Crazy.
back south. Greenville, nice morning. Nice sunrise over Lake Superior this morning. Stop at the quick trip. Well, we put on 2,762 miles. We got just under 21 miles per gallon. We're in this Explorer for 58 hours and 32 minutes. Holy God dang. Well guys, I didn't film much of the return trip. A lot of it was in the dark and you saw a lot of the scenery going up. So uh, we just wanted to get home. We made it home very, very early this morning, like 5.45 a.m. Got a few hours of sleep and running some errands again. This Explorer is disgusting. It is so dirty and I washed it while we were up there uh crazy it's just it, it looks like hell so i gotta wash it today i had to run a couple more errands as i about to as i am about to take on this key 50 project but I, i'm looking for, forward to the end result but i am not looking forward to completing the job i'll say that overall it was a good trip like i said we we were going to take advantage of being up there and, and i think we did i wish we had a little bit more time to spend with some family and and do some more things but overall it was good uh the explorer treated us pretty well um, got us there and got us back ran into one little hiccup battery died my daughter had killed the battery a few months ago and she left the light bar on while she was at work uh, we hadn't had any problems but leaving the doors open packing things and unpacking things the battery died and then it just was completely wasted so had to replace that that was an unexpected $200 damn batteries are expensive these days um, but changed in the parking lot took some tools with no big deal easy uh, easy thing to take on um, comfortable ride the only thing I don't like is those Toyo tires that I, I put on this car. They are a bit noisy, so um, I don't know. I don't really want to replace them, but that was kind of annoying. A lot of road noise. But they did what we needed them to do, so I really can't complain all that much. Um, but we're back. Got to take care of some things. Uh, and then I'm going to get right on the Q50 project. I'm going to wash this thing right now. It looks like hell. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.